Hello, my name is Matthias Kaki. I am from Sweden. I work here in Doha and part of my job is to negotiate. So at my job we have this room called the war room where we go in and we negotiate, yeah? And it's a very small room. And before we go in, me and my boss, we like to amp up properly, yeah? We just like, Rrr, we sit down, just like, oh, the enemy right there, Rrr, and we go in. So at this particular time when we go in, there was this event, the door closes behind me and as we sit down, like gangsters, of course, we just move. My stomach goes. And I have this urgent need to fart. So I, I don't know what to do with myself, yeah? So I start moving, I'm like, oh no. Oh no, I need to fart, I need to fart, oh, what do I do, what do I do, I don't want them to smell, to, to hear my fart, I don't want them to hear my fart, what do I do, what do I do? Oh, then I remembered, yes, the ninja fart, yeah? You know, you know the one where you lift up your head for a little bit and you let this fart just sneak out so nobody can hear it? So I was like, yeah, pss. and as I just sneaks out, I'm like, yeah, nobody can smell, smell, oh my god, I forgot about the smell. What to do, what to do, so I don't know what to do here now. Yeah. It's the worst thing I ever smelled in my life. So all of a sudden, you know, I got the great idea, genius idea. I am going to filter the fart with my lungs, yeah? <laughs> so with genius ideas like this, uh, it makes me think that maybe I just didn't get enough beatings when I was a child. This brings me to the cookie story. The day when I discovered how to get out of a beating. So it was a hot summer's day in Sweden, 25 degrees. And uh, me and my dad were getting ready to go uh, to a family party. And my dad has specific rules when we go to parties. Uh, so he never likes it when somebody eats too much, uh, takes a second serving of anything, is totally forbidden, yeah? And you have to behave perfectly. So we go down, we go and sit in the car, and my dad has to, of course, go through the rules as usual. So he goes, my son, rule number one, you never take two servings of anything. Okay, dad. Rule number two, you never take two servings of anything. Okay, dad. Rule number three, you will behave perfectly when you're there. Okay, Dad. So what he wanted me to be basically is this perfect little robot child. Yeah, so as we get to the party, I'm like, hello everyone, hi, perfect robot child here. <laughs> so perfect, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I go and sit down on a chair, and all the parents and all the adults are sitting on the other side, and all the kids are on my right side, and they're out just running around like crazy and screaming and being happy, children. But I, of course, sit on the chair, and, and I'm this perfect little child. <laughs> <laughs> then, my mortal enemy comes, the cookie lady. Hello, little child. Why don't you have a cookie? And I'm like, oh yeah, a cookie from a child, yeah? So, so I take a cookie, I'm like, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and I eat my cookie. And some of the other parents notice how perfectly behaved I am, so they want to go and congratulate my father. So they go over to my dad, and they're like, Oh, mister, you have a perfect little child. He's magnificent. I've never seen a child behave so perfectly ever before. And my dad looks up and he's very proud, of course. He, my son is a perfect child. He's number one in, my, in his school. Mm, perfect child. He behaves perfectly everywhere we go. And as this conversation is going on, my, uh, the, oh, my mortal enemy comes back again. The cookie lady. So she's there and she's like, mm. Hello. So, would you like to have another cookie? Mm -hmm. No, uh, no, I, sh I shouldn't have another cookie, madam. She's like, come on, it's okay. You can have another cookie because the other kids have had 20 cookies, so it's no problem. Just have another one. Okay, I take another one. And as I look up, you see, my dad, he has a way of telling me how much beating I'm going to get. So, level one, he bites his lip. That's just a warning, you know, behave, behave be careful. Level two, he bites more of his lip, so he's like, mm. that means there's gonna be a one bit of spanking a little bit, or maybe just, Psh, you know. Mm. But what I saw when I look up was this. And I was like, oh God, oh God, what do I do, what do I do? How do I get out of this? So the rest of the party, I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking about how to get out of all of this. 
So as we were about to go home and we go and sit in the car, I come up with the genius idea of how to get out of the beating. So I look at my dad's profile picture, you know, in profile, and I see this, you know, wait till we get home uh, profile, and I'm like, okay. Hmm. So I start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna execute my little plan, yeah? So I amp up, and then I go for it, and I'm like, Dad, oh my God, I can't wait till we get home and I get that spanking. I love it when you hit me with your left hand. That gives me a really great sensation, Dad. <laughs> and I can see my dad's profile. He's just like, what's going on? What is this? He doesn't know what to do with himself, but he keeps it cool, you know. He's like, hmm, my son, hmm. So I continue this way until we get home, yeah? So as soon as he opens up the door, I just run to the wall and I'm like, Dad, I'm ready.